to coast. Coming to you from Hollywood, Orlando, Chicago, New York City. And here's your host, the funniest mother we know, Judy Gold. Hey folks, welcome to Nick Mom Night Out, Coast to Coast. We've been all across the country looking for amazing stand-up comedy for moms, and we're showing it to you now. Our first comic mom has appeared on everything from The Tonight Show to General Hospital to The Christian Broadcasting Network. Coming to us from Hollywood, California, here's Terry Pomeroli. Yes! Woo! Look at you. Right, do that. Woo! You guys, who's happy just to be out of the house? Really? Right, right? You don't care where you are, right? Who got in the car tonight? You told the sitter, you're like, I'm going to mom's night out. I'll be back next Friday, right? <laughs> we may go to Vegas. I don't know. So you guys, yes, I am a member of the Mommy Mafia, and um, I have two kids. I have a four-year-old and a good one. And, um, but seriously, we like the one-year-old better because she doesn't talk. And... Um, <laughs> Come on, you know you like one of your kids better, right? Clearly. And when you have one kid, you try. Like, there's effort. You know, you read books. You go on email. And then by the time you have the second kid, the brain cells have been sucked out of you. Do you know what I mean? Like, like you don't care by the time you have the second kid. I mean, the first kid never had sugar. I cared. I mean, she never did anything wrong. She never watched TV. My second child came out of the womb, and she was like, me amo, Dora, me amo. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Right? I feel bad for the second kids. They don't get the stuff the first kids get, you know, like food. Because um, we're busy, you know what I mean? I'm, and I have a four-year-old who's gifted, so I cannot put her in childcare with other normal kids, because she's better. And, um, well, you know that from the ultrasound, you know. So we put her in with the average babies when she was a baby, and they would always crawl up to her and force their flesh into my baby's mouth and make her bite down on them, because they're jealous, okay? They're jealous. And if you have a child like that, you cannot take them to church, okay? Church daycare is the worst, because they make your kid a number. Have you ever done that, right? 232, right? And you cannot concentrate on that sermon, because you're playing anti-bingo. You're like, don't call 232. Don't call 232. Right? And what do they do? If they call 231, what are you thinking? If you're the parent of a predator, you're like, what did my kid do to 231? What did my kid do? <laughs> Right? You're not worried about your little alpha dog. Your kid's going to run a country someday. You know what I mean? You just want to harness their powers for good, not evil, right? And I don't like the churches that give you a pager, right? This one church got mad at me because I wasn't responding to the pages in time because my husband and I were at a movie. And, um... Yes. But... We dropped her off for Saturday night service and we didn't pick her up till Monday. And um, I think the church needs to serve me. And, um, but you know, when I was pregnant, I was a very large pregnant woman. I was very swollen, head to toe ankles. And my husband would call me cute little things like Frodo. And um, that's why he's very, very celibate. And um, it's a gift. The thing about it is I was so swollen, I couldn't wear my wedding ring. And I remember going to the grocery store, eight months pregnant, and my husband's behind me with a cart. And he's like saying cute things like, all right, all right, baby, I'll marry you, okay. <laughs> Very celibate. And, um, but seriously, I mean, don't go out when you're pregnant because there's that woman in aisle nine, right? And she wants to touch you like you're Buddha, you know? And she wants to share with you her 36-hour labor story, right? She's got a slideshow. And I'm like, ma'am, I have seen Alien, all right? Like, I don't want to watch your C-section. Really? No, I'm Christian, so I try to be nice. And I'm like, lady, I'm sorry, you had 36 hours of horrible labor. Obviously, God doesn't love you the way he loves me. <laughs> Now, see, I thought that was funny until I bounced into the hospital and exactly 36 hours later, I gave birth to a 10.6 pound butterball baby. That is your turkey, ladies. I gave birth to your bowling ball, okay? I mean, when you give birth to a sumo wrestler, there is nothing the doctor can say that's beautiful. She took one look at my kid and she's like, wow, don't breastfeed her. Just get her a pizza. 
she was so big, she drove home. I... And first of all, you La Leche ladies, do not email me. I'm kidding, okay? Both my kids were breastfed, both of them. Not by me. But um, <laughs> we have people. Um, when I was pregnant, this lady scared me. She walked up to me and she goes, you know what? If you breastfeed that baby, you're gonna lose some of that. You know what I'm talking about? You're gonna lose some of that. You're gonna lose a whole cup size if you breastfeed that baby. And my husband, he looked right at her and he goes, lady, we're from LA, we'll get it back. <laughs> And we did. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.